Hi everybody, welcome to your Love Bi-Weekly Readings. And this is uh, for February 1st through the 15th, 2018. And of course, I wanted to wish you Happy Valentine's Day. And also to let you know that I am doing daily readings. So you may want to check that out because I do share a lot of general information and they've been really quite magical. So, um, and I've been, they kind of been long, so I've been divvying them up as oracle messages and then tarot readings, but really they kind of flow together. So definitely check them out. And then if you want a tarot reading from me, I'm not doing any live readings right now, but you can go to my website, moonwatertarot.com. And just click on Tarot Services and scroll down and you'll see I'm offering video messages and email readings. Um, the email readings are just for love though. But you'll see uh, the descriptions there. All right, well, let's get started with your readings. All right, thanks. Hi, Scorpio. This is your reading. Again, happy Valentine's Day. And... Okay, this is what I'm getting for you. Um, hmm. This is just going to apply to some of you, but I feel like either you just recently had a breakup or a breakup from the past has really affected you. And I feel like it's holding you back when it comes to love. Um, there's something that I feel like there's a need for closure for some of you. I'm picking up the earth signs. I'm picking up Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. And then I'm also possibly getting Aquarius. I, I don't know why I'm getting that, but that's what I'm getting. So um, I, I just feel like something possibly is short-lived, like there hasn't been for some long-term success. And some of you may be feeling frustrated. That's what I'm getting. So we'll just see what the cards have to say. So this is February 1st through the 15th. February 1st through the 15th. Scorpio, Scorpio. Okay, I'm going to start here. Don't know what was flipped over, but we'll start here. Okay, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Well, it could be also that some of you may have been really focusing on your career and work and finances and possibly getting that situated um, before you're looking into something more long-term. Also for me, this, you know, Male or female, this is a card of being very independent. And so you're wanting to be alone. And it could be because of the reasons that I said. It may also be uh, because of the past and um, the residual effects. Let's see what's coming up next. Okay. Oh, gosh, I'm just like shedding all over, aren't I? Okay, the Ace of Cups. Now, I do want to say the, this, though, because this is in my challenge position, okay? So for me, um, even though it didn't come out reverse in my challenge position, this is how I read it. Uh, so I feel like there has possibly been an offer or there may be an offer coming in. In the next few weeks and you might be thinking about this offer for others I feel because it is in the challenge position and um, possibly also in my past position I have several meanings for each one but that um, this can represent definitely that you've declined an offer in the recent past, um, or that maybe you are kind of like repressing love, repressing messages of love, repressing any kind of emotions or feelings because you're just busy getting other stuff going on. Um, so we're going to see what else is coming up. Okay, well, this is 
what I was talking about. There may be somebody from your past that I feel like there needs to possibly might help to get closure on. They may also be coming back is another message I'm getting. Now, they may be connecting or they, they also may be reaching out or I'm also getting, um, they may be following you on like Facebook or Instagram or I don't know, Snapchat, Twitter, what else is out there? There's so many things out there. Um, that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. But the other thing is I'm also getting is that there's a need to kind of heal from this past situation so that you're able to let go um, and start considering um, some, you know, other options, especially if you're single. Now, if you're partnered up... It may also be that you could be holding on to some kind of resentment for something that somebody did in the past in, in your current relationship. Uh, also, it could be the other way around where maybe they're repressing their emotions and feelings. They're having a hard time. You know, maybe you're asking for forgiveness. They're having a hard time forgiving you because of something that you've done from the past and they're just not able to let it go. I do want to see though what's underneath. Oh gosh. Well, there's the seven of swords. So, uh, yeah. So I feel like definitely there's a push and pull possibly between emotions and between um, your thoughts, you know, you may be repressing your emotions, which I feel like there's a need to get to the bottom of the way you think about this situation, the way you feel about the situation. Uh, it can be that maybe you're hanging on to something because maybe they weren't quite honest with you in, in your past. There was, maybe there was something that they, they betrayed you in some way. Now, this doesn't have to mean infidelity or cheating. Maybe they lied to you, which that in itself is a betrayal. They weren't honest. Could also be, and I picked this up, I think, for Capricorn. You know, for so, so weird because in Capricorn's reading, I was seeing the Seven of Swords. But what came out was the seven of pentacles. And now I just finished Capricorn and now I'm, the seven of swords is here. So I don't know. With this card, Capricorn's reading may have some significance for you. Um, is what I'm being led to say. Um, please watch your moon and or rising sign. Especially if these readings don't resonate. Uh, really. I, I'm being led to say that. Uh, but I feel like there's something that needs to be cleared up because you may also be deceiving yourself. There's some kind of deception going on, but it could be that you're deceiving yourself about really what, you know, or betraying yourself in the sense that love is out there. You may be very independent on your own, but yes, we all deserve love and you may be keeping yourself from love and it, it you know, you're hindering yourself in some way. Maybe it's your thoughts about love from your past and this may even go back to your childhood. Uh, there's something, I don't know, I heard mending fences or mending something, whether it's from somebody from your past or from your childhood or something. I'm picking up this also as possibly a mother figure, could be a father figure, but I just feel like there's something to be mended. Um, and I think that that will help you move on from and or releasing any kind of resentment or 
betrayal and uh, being more open up or receptive to love in your relationship, which then will allow you to move to like a higher level or resonate more with your partner or allow new love in if you are single. So these are just some messages that I'm getting. Um, so uh, if you would like a reading that you know, maybe clarifies or to get more information, um, you can reach me at moonwatertarot.com. Uh, just click on tarot services, scroll down, and I would love to look at your situation for you. Right now, I'm offering video readings and email readings for love. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Take good care of yourself. All right. Bye.